Are you looking for an extraordinary project to support? Check this out. This is a Monad Calendar Clock app, Stage 2, the prototype, which features planet Earth at the center of a time and date-telling celestial sphere. It's got four main modes of operation. This is a geo mode, which is a Earth-centered. You can accelerate uh, back into the uh, past or accelerate into the future. This is a uh, helio mode, which is a uh, sun centered. And uh, this is uh, astro mode, which uh, features a, a two dimensional calendar clock face, which allows you to set the time by dragging the hour hand, or you can set the date by dragging the calendar band past this date indicator at the top of the dial. This is event mode which uh, is where the event manager is located. My name is Keith Whitten, and I'm the inventor of this calendar clock, and I'm trying to raise money through this Kickstarter campaign to complete the Stage 3 programming of the event manager, a powerful new event recording and scheduling program. By the way, I hope you will download the Monad prototype from the App Store. Now, the value of the Monad event manager is that it shows personal events represented by these event wedges in the context of planetary events we all share. Here's a sunrise and sunset on the uh, twilight dial. Uh, this is the uh, location and phase of the moon. And uh, here's the Earth's circle of illumination, which is uh, related to the uh, time of year or season. Monad generates a well-ordered and easily searchable accumulation of event records. Okay, each event wedge is associated with an event page. This is uh, my uh, breakfast uh, page with a record of uh, what I ate here associated with this wedge here. Um, this uh, skinny red wedge here is an event that I'm recording in the now. So I uh, tap the now button and that uh, moves the hour hand back to the current time and date. And uh, this wedge will uh, grow at the same rate the hour hand advances, one degree every four minutes until I tap the stop button here at the top. It's easy to record events in the now or uh, schedule events in the future or uh, make a record of events in the past. Uh, this is uh, events from uh, yesterday. Let's say I uh, forgot that I uh, had a uh, snack at uh, nine o'clock at night and I wanted to make a record of that so just uh, tap in a snack and uh, maybe uh, change the uh, duration there. And there it is. Save that. Uh, this is uh, events from the day before and the day before. And uh, I've got a record going all the way back to July of uh, last year. So uh, let's go back here and uh, take a look at what I was doing in uh, October. Uh, that's a boring day. What about this day here? Um, I was revising uh, earthatthecenter.com. That's my website. You should check that out. That was six months and 25 days ago. So uh, back to now. Um, you're uh, currently looking at the health mode. These are health categories here at the bottom. But uh, you'll be able to import uh, four different color-coded calendars uh, here. Uh, including uh, work, sports, church, etc. All the calendars you already use on a regular basis, you'll be able to use in Monad. We're going to add weekly, monthly, and yearly calendar formats and an all-day events screen. Our goal is to make Monad the only scheduling program you will ever need. You'll be able to create the complex event records on this tall page. So, uh, Hit the tall button, and uh, here you'll be able to set up a multiple links that can be easily searched and summarized at a later date using a feature called Roots and Branches. For instance, so let's say that this was a business meal, and I wanted to make a record of this event. So uh, I would list the people that were involved, uh, selecting from my list of contacts, uh, they would show up here. If I make a phone call on behalf of my client, a record of the call would show up here. If I pay for the meal, uh, the uh, information would show up here for my taxes. If I take a photo or a more, uh, the thumbnail photos would show up here, and you'll be able to scroll through this uh, event record like a, a web page. 
Uh, when you're not busy uh, managing your personal events, so you, you might want to check out the other three modes in uh, Astro mode. Uh, you could drag this uh, calendar band back to your uh, birth date and check out your uh, birth chart. Um, this uh, table at the top of the screen shows the precise location of the uh, sun, moon, and planets at any time and date. And uh, stage four programming, we will add astronomy and astrology programs for this screen. If you feel uh, like exploring the uh, solar system in all four dimensions of space and time, uh, check out uh, Geo Mode. Uh, you can show uh, the stars and constellations on the inside of this three-dimensional celestial ring here and uh, easily uh, demonstrate the uh, uh, solar day, which is the time it takes for the Earth to spin once relative to the sun. Uh, the lunar month is the time it takes for the uh, Earth or the moon to uh, orbit the uh, Earth going through its phases relative to the sun. And the seasonal year is the time it takes for the uh, sun to uh, circle the ecliptic, this uh, tilted red circle here. Um, here's the uh, ascending equinoctial node right there. And uh, right there in the middle is the uh, summer solstice position. And uh, you can also observe uh, all this activity from a, a sun-centered uh, perspective. Let's uh, speed things up here. Uh, I like uh, going back and forth uh, between the two modes and uh, seeing how they're related uh, from a helio back to geo. A lot of good stuff for you to check out. There are uh, several videos on my website, uh, earthatthecenter.com, uh, demonstrating the uh, various uh, features of the prototype. We're uh, also going to improve uh, health mode, which is uh, based on the principles of uh, chronobiology. And in general, we are going to make Monad great. There is uh, so much more I want to tell you about Monad, but uh, the bottom line is... Monad is educational and beautiful, and when we're done with the event manager, you will use it every day and won't be able to imagine your life without it. Thank you very much for backing this project. All right. That's it. Thank you.